The first of the former McDonald's restaurants in Russia has opened in Moscow under a new name, which translates as Tasty and That's It. The U.S. chain pulled out of the country last month following the invasion of Ukraine. Russia continues to face a whole raft of international sanctions which have hit its economy hard. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg has the story. In Moscow, the burgers are back. This was McDonald's. Not anymore. The U.S. fast food giant has left Russia in protest at the invasion of Ukraine. And it sold all its restaurants here, more than 800, to a local company. Gone are the golden arches. The logo now is two French fries and a burger. The man who was quick to buy the fast food business is Siberian tycoon Alexander Govor. There'll be no more Big Macs or McFlurries here. It's a pity because they were the most popular items. But we've told our experts to find replacements that are just as good or even better. The customers we spoke to were loving it. <laughs> Russians can do fast food just as well, Ravil tells me. And as for Western sanctions and global brands leaving Russia, we are very tough people. You can't scare us. When the very first McDonald's restaurant opened right here 32 years ago, that was a hugely powerful symbol, a symbol of Russia embracing Western culture, Western ideas, Western food. What's happening here today with the departure of McDonald's and its Russian replacement, well, that's a symbol too, but a symbol of how Russia and the West are now moving apart. Over in the Kremlin, no burgers, but a hefty serving of patriotism from the president. At an award ceremony, Vladimir Putin called on Russians to unite and to devote themselves to the motherland. But he'll know that Western sanctions are having an impact. Here's one example. Russian TV reports that due to sanctions, Russian car makers can't import key components. So the new larders being made without any airbags or an anti-lock braking system. Taxi driver Nikita thinks the Russian economy is in for a bumpy ride. The prices in rubles, they, they became ri ridiculously high, yeah. So for, for the taxi business now, it's gone. We, d we don't have new cars, we have to use old ones. Russians won't relish the prospect of economic pain. But so far, the Kremlin shows no sign of changing course. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.